Hello everyone, this is Mike with Cooking with the Word, my beautiful wife Jessica. As many of you know, I was born and raised in the head of a holler. Uh, that's what we called it, growing up was a holler. Uh, when I was young, we actually, we had inside uh, plumbing, but we also had an outhouse. Uh, I don't remember ever using it, but we had one. We had a, a dirt road and uh, we had um, no telephone until I was 14 years old. And uh, I grew up in a place called Shop Hollow and it was just absolutely wonderful. Had dozens of cousins and we all took care of each other and, and had fun together. We never had to lock your doors. Um, if you ran out of sugar, you went next door and they gave you sugar. If you ran out of milk or cream, then you, we, we, we helped each other out all the time. And, you know, everybody, if you raised a garden, everybody could eat out of that garden. It was just a wonderful time. But we had, we, all, we had our own language there. Now, the Muncie family moved to America from England in the, in the 1600s. I mean, we've been here for a long time. And when we left England and some of my family from Ireland and different places, then we brought over the languages that was used there, and we used them here in the Appalachian Mountains. And even though the first Muncies were in New York and some even went to Harvard University, uh, then we we uh, we we traveled down through into Montgomery County, Virginia, and then into um, Kentucky. Uh, for, first went into Tazewell area, Burks Garden in the 1700s, then into the Kentucky area, right behind Daniel Boone, through the Cumberland Gap into Martin County, Kentucky, and and then and right around after the Civil War. Uh, they moved to McDowell County, West Virginia with the Hagermans as peacekeepers. The Muncies were, were tall people, uh, tough people, brave people, and uh, they uh, they moved in as peacekeepers, but they brought their language that came in from uh, these other countries, you know, and, 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 and that was meshed together here, and the languages was different. Now, my wife yes. is from Princeton, and I always caught, told her she was a city girl, and and, and uh, even though she didn't really grow up in a city, she she didn't really say the same words that we say. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to give her a quiz on Shop Hollow language. All the way from McDowell County, West Virginia, the county, the free state of McDowell. Okay. Uh, and, and, and just to see if after uh, going on 19 years of marriage, she has learned the proper Queen's language from me, you know, how to really talk. So, you ready, Jessica? Mm -hmm. This is how we're going to start this out. Now, my first word I'm going to give her, and I want her to use this word in a sentence. The word is tar. Tar. And if you can't use it in a sentence, I'll use it in a sentence for you. Tar. Tar's what you paint a roof with. Tar's yeah. what you paint a roof with. Okay. I tried to go up the hill the other day, but the tars on my car were just too slick and they oh, wouldn't get a I grip on tar. in the mud. So Yeah. It's called a tar. It's, it's tar. Now stay in that same <laughs> stay in that same thing now, Jessica. What is a casein? In casein. You didn't know? Or? That's really good. <laughs> I'm guessing. Is that right? That's really good, but it's not right. A casing is a tire or tar. Oh, I didn't even. I've never now, back in the day, we didn't call them tires. Definitely, you know, when nobody would go. If you said tire in Shop Hollow, you're probably going to get cast out of the hollow, you know. But <laughs> it was your tires. It was, it was your, your, back in the day, they were called casings. All right, I'm going to give you another one. What if I was going to go, I got up early one morning, and I was going to go singing? Church, go to church, singing. Good, good, good guess, good guess. But to go singing. Okay. In a sentence. Ready? Okay. You know that saying is really expensive now, and I want to go out. I heard there was some up on the ridge there, robust snake root. I'm gonna walk and see how much I can dig, because that saying is is really, really, really That's expensive. So you gotta get that saying. You dig the roots out and you let it dry out. And, and today they call it, and 
ginseng. Ginseng. I would have never guessed that. You would have never guessed that. But it's called that. going singing. Never. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Aimed. Aimed. I aimed to go to the store today. Good job. <laughs> We're on a roll now. Let's see if we can keep it going. Okay. I aimed to do something. What about Haint? Now, I'm going to give you a little heads up on Haint. Haint can be two different things. If you get just either one of the two, you get double credit. Ready? Haint. I'm thinking. Haint. I haint too sure about something. Good job. You got one of them. That's good. One. Haint is uh, saying, uh, 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 like saying ain't. Yeah, you know, That's ain't was kind of ain't was kind of a fancy way of talking, you know. But yeah. but ain't, you know, I just ain't got none today. Have not. It's like short. For but not. but that old house up on the hill there, uh, it ain't been nobody living there in a while. You know why? They say there's some ain'ts up in that high place. Like and, and them haints, well, buddy, I tell you what, they make all these noises in the night and stuff. You got to get away from that place. Yes. So uh, that's what a haint is. A haint is a ghost. I'd never heard that at all. Never heard that. Mm -hmm. What about yuns? Yuns want to go to the store with me? Yuns want to go to the store. Good job. So yuns actually left the big city of war and made it all the way to Princeton. That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right. What about plum? A lot of. I'm plum empty. Wow. Very good again. You on a roll. That was right, okay. You know, you're getting you just getting plum good at this right here. <laughs> the word plum means very to the extreme or completely. Alright, what about fixing? I'm fixing to make dinner. Dinner's great, and you're fixing to get another one correct. Cha-ching. Good job. Fixing means I'm about to do something. What about nary? Nary. Like not very? Nary? You're not nary nice? Or... You know, I didn't think you'd get nary one of these right, but you got this one right, right here. Good <laughs> job. Did. Nary means not not very, or not at all. Not I mean, at all. Nary not one. very, yeah. Not at all. How about a, and, and, and you're famous for not knowing this. Okay. All right, you're famous for not knowing this. What about the word Calvinator? Oh, refrigerator. I, like, I heard that the first time from the people over in the holler, and I was like, I was stumped. I had absolutely no idea what they were talking about. A Calvinator. <laughs> Uh, somebody come up with the word refrigerator. I don't know who it was, but it is a Calvinator. That's what it is. It's the place where you put your stuff to keep it cold. What about uh, flour? The flour you like bake with, make biscuits with? Yeah, it's not flour. It's flour. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, I've heard it called that way and, too. And, and, and sometimes in the spring, you look outside and them flowers out there, boy, they just looking so good. They just get up in the flowers, you know, especially the lilies and the carnations. They just bloom. And, and, and so Easter flowers. lilies will come out, and them flowers just look, they look so wonderful out there. What about yonder? Over yonder, like, I don't know. I mean, I just, I've heard it. Over yonder, we're going to go fishing. Or That's right. Over there. That place over yonder. Yeah. What about a washer? Washing machine. Washing machine. You're on a roll. <laughs> you been cheating or studying or what? No. What about a booger? That could be implied as a person. Could be a booger if they're like being mischievous or... Um... That's what you was told when you was a kid was going to get you if you didn't behave. The booger's going to get you. So you had to make sure you, you I behaved. I was boogie. <laughs> boogie. Burr. Boogie's a dancing. Boogie man. What about, here's a good one now. See if you can get this okay. one. Okay. Gommed. Caked up like gommed. Like something's caked up and clogged. Use yeah. it in a sentence. See if you can. Say come it on. again. Gommed. See if you can use it in a sentence. Come on, come on. You can do this. 
You can do this. Gone. You can do this. The sink is gommed up. There you go. And I can't get nothing down. It's Them kids in there, I tell you what's the truth, man. They done gommed that house up to where you can't hardly get through it. Good job. Good job. What about, what is a flitter? Flitter's like a pancake. It can't. There you go. And, and, and you know how you describe something that's very flat? Flatter than a flitter. Flatter than a flitter. There you go. What about... What is leather britches? Green beans. Very good job. Dried out green beans. Mm -hmm. uh, string beans is what we used to call them. What is, here's a good one. I'll see if you can get this one. Now you've had these before. I might get it then. What is it? A ditty. That one I'm just like stumped on because I... And it's not the, about the song from Jack and Diane. No, it's not. Because you've said it before. And I, I can't remember. Yeah, he ain't out there. Every time you go by, she just, she'll flog you like crazy because of them little ditties she's got falling behind her. The chicks. Little baby, baby chickens. Chicks. There you go. Good job. Good job. I've heard it, but I... I think you can get this one right here. Okay. A thingamajigger. Oh, that's just, that's like talking about, it's, if you can't think of the name of something... It's that thingamajigger over there. You know what I'm talking good job, about. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. <laughs> You're going to miss this one. Probably. Hickey. The hickey majigger. <laughs> I don't. A uh, hickey. A hickey majigger. Oh, that hickey. Right, there you go. Okay. I was wrong. Yes. You got that one right. You got that one right. All right. Just, a doodad. That thingy over there. Same thing. Mm -hmm. What about you reckon? You think you think so? That's it. You reckon? All right. You might know this, but now growing up in Shop Hollow, this is a place that we was not allowed to go. This is a place where we just stayed away from the camp. The camp. The camp. Or the camp, as oh, you would say, I, Princeton. I I like going camping, so I don't know. My family always took me, so I don't know. The camp was... Uh, was it like a party? It was the coal camps. Oh, that's why I don't know. It. Now, we lived up in the holler. The camp was the places down below us there uh, where the coal mines had built the houses. And we wasn't allowed to go to the camp because we had to stay up where family was up in the holler. But the camp was the coal camp. And uh, if you... if in Chapala, if you was said uh, going down in the camp, then that was down in that was down in Warrior Mines. That was down in the camp. What about hind end? She's gonna whip your hind end if you don't be Ooh, careful. See now you 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 just raise your right. What about brigady? I don't know what brigady is. I'm trying to think if I've heard grandma. I tell you what, young lady, if you don't stop acting so brigady, I'm gonna tear you up. I, she's never. I don't think she ever said that to me. She had some other. She probably words. should have. Probably should. But brigady means that you're acting up. You're being all feisty and sassy and stuff like that. What about what's a black a a, a backslider? A backslider, somebody that's doing right and knows right from wrong, but then messes up. And they backslid. Somebody quit church. That's right. It's called a backslider. <laughs> I remember the first time I heard that, I just imagined somebody going up against a wall and oh, sliding down their bad. back. You know, What is highfalutin? The highfalutin criminal. <laughs> a highfalutin criminal. A highfalutin is someone who, uh, they, that person's so full of themselves. They're so whole highfalutin. They... They, they think they're better than everybody well, criminals else. Criminals always think they're going to get by with stuff. So right. that would, I mean, that would work. Okay, well, I'll give you half a point. <laughs> half a is somebody who thinks they're better than everybody else. What is poke? It's some greens outside you eat. Now, when did you find out about poke? Not until I married you. How good is poke? Oh, it's delicious. I can't pick it because I don't know what it <laughs> looks like. So you always have to get yeah. it, but. Okay, you never never had tried poke, but once you tried poke, I couldn't cook it fast enough for you to eat it. Mm -hmm. uh, poke greens are delicious. Uh, gob. 
Is it gob or gab? Gob. I don't gob. know what gob is. Gab it means a whole is when bunch. You talk about somebody. Gab is when you talk about. Gob means a whole lot. I mean, you just got you gobbed that up, or you got a whole lot of a, not a mess, or it's just just like something messy. Just a gob of just 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 a bunch of just old junk, and, and you know the kids done gobbed up the whole room in there. So we're gonna have to get them. That's what a gob is. What about took a notion? You thought you could do something. Thought you could do something. Good job. What about tan your hide? You're going to get a whipping. And your hide going to going probably sure turn tan, ain't it? Your backside's going to hurt. Right. Tan your hide. What about kilt? Isn't that like them skirts? <laughs> Yeah, we don't I'm go all the way back to Scotland, though. Well, I mean, I, mean, I don't we're know. We're going to stay here. That's the only thing I can think of is a kilt. The skirts. I tell you what, I got out there holding the garden today and about killed me out. Oh, killed. Killed you. Yeah, I got about killed out on that place, man. I'm telling you what's true. Okay, I can see that. How about up there? Something that's up there that you need to get? Or? Right. Hey, yeah, no, we need to go up there for a minute and see what we can find. Yeah. What about Red Dog? What is Red Dog? It's alcohol. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We're keeping this as a Christian show right here. We're trying to keep oh, it sane. Okay? I just know that's where I've heard it. Red Dog? I don't know if I've heard Red Dog. But anyway. It's a hunting dog. Red Dog is a, after coal had set and burned in a gob pile. A gob. See, we're going back to gob. Mm-hmm. In a gob, gob pile. And it turns red into something hard. And they used to put it down on the roads. And the road going up to Chapala, they used to put Red Dog down. And it was good or better than gravel. That's what Red Dog is. Oh, okay? I have never heard that. All right. Have you ever heard this? Slicker than snot on a doorknob. Yeah, it means it's slick. It's icy. It's icy. Slicker than yes. snot on a doorknob. So how do you think you've done? I think I got a hundred. I just missed a couple. <laughs> and you got a, you got a, yeah, you got a hundred. You know you missed wife, a couple. Okay. And you love me. So. Right, well, I'll give you. And uh, hope everybody out there watching done good. Also, uh, city people, big city of Princeton I'm people, not, prairie is, people, regular <laughs> people, country people, and Chapala people. I hope y'all done good. And uh, until next time, we hope to see you again with cooking with the word.